the, another shell you know the reposed shell because remember I just need to keep alternating them if I wanted them in a, a combined design and uh, sometimes some or most of the times you would be able to do design one design two then design three but sometimes you would have to uh, do two of um, of the same just because uh, of uh, uh, the designs that you already stitch and, and just depending on where you are, you know, on your quote. Okay, I'm going to take a little break and uh, just step back and take a look. I, I am in love with this already and uh, um, I really, really think that this is going to work beautifully and uh, it's not going to be much... Uh, um, much difficulty uh, of uh, executing this year and uh, uh, this video is for advanced scooters so th you know m maybe a, a beginner uh, uh, would feel a little bit um, uh, overwhelmed uh, or intimidated by uh, using three designs and, and juggling them in between them uh, in order to create one combo of three different designs so let's go back to work uh, I really really like uh, 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 what I already have stitched so far and l let's see when I go um, uh, go ahead and do more stitching uh, the more beautiful it's going to look because you are going to see how these design designs really really flow and uh, really complement each other because I have a lot of lines I have some points I have some uh, s uh, round designs and I also have those feathers and this is what's going to make the design look beautiful because there's going to be a lot of design or a variety in this design and a lot of interest visual interest uh, visual impact uh, as well because uh, it takes the viewer's eye and just makes him wander all over the place just looking for for the changes so let's go back to stitching I really like this thread and against that uh, um, a dark um, purple here it looks really cool uh, I don't have much room here so I decided to do a feather design here see right there all the way to the design boundaries make another one here and get out of there now um, see I tell you what I think this is the very first time I did that but you know i mean the, the, that uh, design combination but i think that uh, doing three designs it's even easier than doing two designs because you have um, you know switching between the designs you have more um, um, you, you have uh, three designs you know to to alternate so therefore it makes it easier i think see how i do i want to get myself to a point where uh, I want to be, because I want to make a, a form of feather here, form of feather cluster right there. Um, and uh, so far, I really, it's not uh, difficult at all. And uh, it just basically, uh, you know, following through what I said. And uh, I was quite sure that this combination would work very well together because uh, of uh, um, uh, these three different designs they might be a little bit similar in the way that they do have the uh, uh, center which is uh, very similar but uh, actually um, they are different only sharing the center okay now it's time to throw a ripple and then follow through do the Ripley design. Now this is not a boring design, I tell you. <laughs> you need to pay attention to what you are doing. Um, and, um, you know, so you don't get carried away and, and keep doing, uh, keep, you know, uh, stitching one design after another one, you know, and uh, using using the same. So you, you always need to keep changing, remember? That's all it takes. See if you have like a little um, a gap in between then um, all you need to do is just fill in the best you can and uh, oh this thread is off uh, the this thread is awesome and 
I, I think I will do another feather here. And uh, like I already said, that I really, really think that alternating and combining three designs is actually the easiest, easier than combining two designs. I think there is less thinking because uh, it, it, all you need to do is just look where you are at and, and see what's missing. If, uh, you know, if you already have the other two designs touching each other, then it's, uh, you can use the third design, you know, and, and, uh, uh, and whatever, because you already see what's there. So all you need to do is uh, um, uh, do another design that is not uh, the same uh, touching, so touching the other previous designs. Okay. Now I see how how I am between uh, two feather designs, and and then I also have the Ripley design in in the background. So it's time for for me to do the cherry design. And it's so simple. I mean, this is so. Yeah, I don't know about you, but it, this is so easy for me because all I need to do is uh, look at it. You know where I am at. You know at the spot where I am and just decide in split seconds, you know, which design to do next. And okay, you see, I'm out now. It, it, it's very easy, look. Now guess which design I'm going to be doing. Ripple design, because I don't see ripple design in this area here. So this is what I need to do. This is very, very simple and so much fun. Okay. I'm going to make this, because I am in the wide open space, I'm going to make this ripple design a little bit uh, larger and see how that's going to play against the other designs. And of course, you can, you can do all of this in a different scale. You can use it in very tiny scale. Uh, remember using, um, you cannot use too bulky thread, I mean too thick thread, if you want to do a small scale. Um, and th this thread uh, is very good. Um, like I said, it's not too thick, and, and it also it also shows, you know, on the dark background, and uh, mm, you know, no problem. I, I can see well. See how I am making this sh shell quite big, and I now I am going to go all the way to the left, and then guess what? Which design I would be doing? Because I, I see a, a, the a, a ripple shell and I see the feather, so that's going to be cherry. Very easy to make decision, no problem. Actually, I am surprised. I just surprised myself. I thought that this one is going to be the most difficult and the most difficult to execute, and actually I am, I am surprised that it isn't. Uh, okay, so just get out of here. See how I am in the tighter corner. And guess what? Now it's time because I see a ripple, uh, uh, rippled um, shell and I see cherry design. It's time for me to do feather design. See, that's simple. It's really, really no brainer. All you need to do is just look what you are doing. You know, look at your area. Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of break, break and uh, I, I don't know if you can see, but I, I can take a look and I really love what I just did. I can't help it. It looks way, way cool. It looks beautiful. I know when I, you know, as I stitch it, I know that it, lo it looks good, but when I uh, take a step back and take a look, it's a different story. I see the entire design. So um, it really, really makes me want to do more. It just, I cannot keep my hands off the, uh, these machine handles. Okay, uh, let's go back to work, okay? Okay, and I am trying to do, do the backtracking on my feathers. Sometimes, you know, I just go and skip them. Uh, sometimes I try to do the backtracking. You know, the backtracking um, on formal feathers, I, I do emphasize it every time I do, I make them, because this is the most difficult in quilting there is. And, uh, okay, 
Now I, all I need to do is get out of here. And I want to get myself into a place where I want to be to uh, make the next design. And I decided to, because here it doesn't matter, because all I have is uh, a, a feather design on the top. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to do a cherry design here. And uh, as you see here, I would be able to reach out, see like that, and fill in the entire area so I don't need to, to go back. Okay. Okay, it's coming out nicely. Now this one, because I am in the wide open space, this one tends to be a little bit larger, but that's fine. You know, as long as I don't change the scale drastically, I, I should be just fine. 